It's a Friday afternoon at high school in 2021. My friends and my classmates have organised a party that I have not been invited to and they're all talking about it the whole school day. They're all excited, they're all talking about how there's going to be uh, you know, some, some beverages there. And instead the whole day I'm sitting in the corner just doing my work, not really talking to anybody because I have not been invited. And the reason I wasn't invited is because at that point in my life I'd started making self-improvement videos. So telling people not to go to parties was part of my job right because they're just not very good for you and they're a waste of time right so naturally i was not invited no one wanted me there so i felt very lonely even though i preached not wanting to go to parties i still wanted to go to that one because i didn't want to feel left out so i packed my bag head home come to this room i sat in this chair edited my video the whole night that made me zero dollars my friends were earning more money than me and they still had the opportunity to go ahead and have fun so to kind of rest my loneliness, that Friday night, around, around 6 or 7 p.m., I can't exactly remember, I decided to take my dog for a walk around the neighborhood. Right, about a, what, 15 to 20 minute walk. Now, I walk past this house. Now, this specific house has a party going on. My first instinct is that, shit, it's the party that everyone's been talking about at school. But little did I know, there's two parties going on and they weren't and the, pe the people at my school weren't talking about the same party there's two there's some people who were talking about this party and there's some other people who are talking about this other party so i walked past one of those parties and i saw someone i knew it wasn't necessarily my friend it was a girl in my class i saw her in the backyard because you can kind of see the backyard the music was playing so it was pretty pretty hard not to look who was there and i and i saw her and i had a jumper on at this point so i just put my hood on and just walked the other way I didn't want anyone seeing me because I didn't want to come off as like a stalker or some shit, right? Some weird ass motherfucker, you know what I mean? So I'm walking home. Again, I'm like 10 minutes from home at this point. And I think that is the party that everyone's been talking about. So I go home and I sit down and I feel even more sorry for myself because I've seen people actually having fun. And I've never told this story to you because I feel very embarrassed telling this. I don't know who's going to watch this at my school I don't know who's going to watch it. And if people watch it from my school, they're probably going to comment and like, not just on this video, but comment to me at school, come up to me at school and say shit. So I'm putting my ass on the line for this shit. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. And I'll, I'll prove it to you in a minute. I went back to that house just before dark. I didn't go in, but I just went there. I just went for another walk, right? I put on, a, I put on different clothes just in case someone saw me and I put my hood on so they wouldn't be able to see my face. So I'm walking past this house. I'm playing emotional music in my ears, like lonely music, right? That, you know, stimulates the, the feeling of loneliness, the feeling of sadness, just walking past there, me just being lonely as fuck. I'm not saying this for you to feel sorry for me, bro. I was very emotional and just, you know, as young kids are, right? If they don't fit in, they're very emotional. They, they get really anxious. That was just me. I'm not saying this to feel sorry. I'm just simply saying this to relate to you because I'm sure you've had something similar in your life. There's a, there's a park next to this house about probably 100 meters up the road that I still use to this day sometimes. And it's basically a park, but you can do calisthenics on it. You can do you know, exercise on it. And I walk past this park, look at it, and I'm like, I have a lot of energy right now. These guys are out there partying, they're probably, I don't know if they were doing uh, D-R-U-Gs, but I'm sure there was alcohol involved. These guys are going out there doing that shit. I might as well do something that's good for me and prove to myself that uh, I want this shit bad enough. So I went out there and did my second workout for the day. I don't usually do that and I just repped out as many pull-ups as I could. Repped them out for, I think about an hour because I was so just, I was just so emotional. I rang my mum up and I said that I was walking around with my friend and it, cause it was getting dark. And surprisingly, she actually let me, even though I wasn't, I was by myself. And I finished my workout, I can't feel my arms, I can't feel my back. And I go back and walk past that house again on the way home and the exact same things are going on. It's just a lot more loud now. I'm sure the neighbors were pissed because it was loud, bro. Like I could hear it a hundred meters up the road. So like, I don't think anyone saw me because no one said anything to me to this day. Uh, they might after this video, I don't know. So I go home, it's around like 8 p.m. I think at this point, uh, go home, have dinner, have my post-workout meal, rest for about two hours. And I played, I think I played, I don't know, some video games or whatever and just went to bed. Woke up Saturday, 5.30. 
and go back to work. As I said to you, I was making zero money at this point. I was not successful at all. I was just a weird ass kid. And I remember a couple of weeks after this, a girl asked me in my class, how much money do you make from your videos? From the YouTube videos I made. And you can go back around two and a half years ago if you actually want to see the videos that I was making at this time period. I was making more fitness content, but I added some self-improvement content in there as well. A girl asked me, how much money do you make? And at this point, I'm being honest, I'm not gonna lie. I said to her I was making around 50 bucks a week. And I remember she was so happy with herself, which I'm, I'm happy that she was happy, bro, that she made more than me assuming I was an influencer. She was like, she was stoked. She was making like maybe 250 bucks a week. And bro, you, because I cared about money at this point, I cared about you know, having authority at school, having power. That, 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 that fucked me, bro, that fucked me up. And I was so ready to give up at that point, it wasn't funny. But I'm so lucky that I stay consistent in this content journey, bro. I could, I could continue this story for hours. Like, you know, detailing you with every single event that happened that really hurt my ego. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna waste your time. From the years of year nine to year 10, school was okay. I had a couple of friends that, you know, or a few, few three or four, three to five friends that um, I could really relate to and they respected me. I respected them. And I still do to this day, but everyone else just fucking clowned me, bro. Like everyone else just, just, you know, just said shit as teenagers do. One more thing that really hurt me when I'm back in the day, we used to have like a massive friend group, like a really big one. Like, I mean like 20 kids, right? It was like all the boys at school. We used to all be like, all be pretty close. And a lot of them started to separate like from me especially, and everyone in my school calls me by my last name, like like they call me Jack Pigger, they don't call me Jack, because I'm like, you know, they call me off my brand name. And I saw some of those boys calling me Jack Pigger and not Pigger anymore, because my friends call me Pigger, they don't call me Jack. And as like, I know I was very insecure, I'm overthinking this shit, I know I am. But as soon as they started calling me, me that, I knew that they were fake, I knew it. <laughs> like, I knew it bro, I fucking knew it straight away. Because they were only calling me that to fit in with another group of people who were calling me that, right? So, yeah, but if we fast forward to today, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm really successful because I'm not, but I'm only gonna say this because I want it to inspire you because you're probably in high school if you're still watching this video or you're a young man or whatever, and you care a lot about what other people think of you. You're really scared to get judged even though you know that you should be doing this thing, but you're too scared of the people at your school clowning you just like they did me. Bro, I'm at a point in my life, I went from making 50 bucks a week. I mean, again, I don't like to say this because I am not a materialistic person, but I'm only saying this to inspire you. At this point, I make more than my fucking classmates all combined in a month. I'm only saying this to inspire you. I'm not saying this to brag. All right, simply because I used the last three years, year nine till year 12 now, just going all in, all in. That doesn't mean I didn't have fun, but the times where I wasn't having fun, I was putting the work in, yeah? And you don't have to be some entrepreneur, like, like if you wanna call YouTube a business, but I want you just to picture the person you wanna be in five years time and imagine your life is on the line. And if you don't reach that point, Life's over bro, the game's over. You would rather be hated for doing what you love than being loved for doing what you hated. All this shit won't matter in five years. It won't. Once I graduate this at the end of this year, it, none of this shit will matter. The, the stuff I experienced three years ago, it won't matter bro. All right, it's the same with you because I know when you're in high school, your main goal is just to be the most popular kid in school. All right, but you will never witness a success story because this is kind of a success story to me even though I don't like to look at it like that. I'm only saying it to inspire you bro. I hate talking about myself in that way but I'm only doing it for you. You will never experience or witness a success story where someone has not received backlash. It is simple. You can either experience the pain right now, people judging you, doing the things you don't want to do, to experience pleasure after. Or you can experience the pleasure now, right, fitting in even though you don't really want to do that doing the things you know you shouldn't be doing to probably end up in not the best future. I've chosen my path. It doesn't mean I'm better than anybody else who has chosen a different path, but I know this is best for me and you know what path is best for you. All right? 
you guys better you guys better uh, give me some props from making this video because I, I don't know who's gonna see it and it's probably the most uh most touchy touchy video i've made in a while so for me anyway my heart's heart's beating pretty fast but yeah <laughs> all right i'll catch you in the next video my brother peace